Thank you for viewing VMS, Be a Mentor's Volunteer Management System. First, a bit of background. Be a Mentor is a nonprofit corporation formed under IRS Code 501c3 in 1992. Our mission includes the connecting of caring adults with children and youth for the purpose of helping them to succeed in life. It is unusual for a nonprofit with our mission to have such a robust management system for volunteerism. Several charter board members came from the tech industry. Our founder and CEO previously owned a tech company that sold computer systems and did software development for clients. These skills crept into our nonprofit as we were immersed in the matching of adults with youth as mentors and school volunteers. We were unable to find a management system to meet our needs and decided to build it ourselves. I need to be clear that it is not our purpose to sell computer software. Although there are license fees involved, our interest is to identify school districts whereby we can assist them in building a world-class volunteer system that safely connects parents and community members with students to enhance achievement. All license fee proceeds flow back into the organization for the maintenance and growth of VMS and to support other youth services programs. I hope you enjoy this presentation, and we are happy to answer any questions for you. This is an overview presentation. Additionally, there are six videos corresponding to the segments listed on this page that go into significant detail regarding the use of VMS. This is the portal page. Volunteers come to this page for initial registration, general information, and a link to their private dashboard. The portal page is tailored for each school district. To begin the registration process, the new volunteers enter their email address. The following screens illustrate how volunteers register in VMS. Each volunteer views a screen that has a message from the district and at the bottom, any number of volunteering areas. If Other Projects is selected, the volunteer may be linked to a page offering a mentoring program for foster youth. If this is of interest, the volunteer would click on Apply to complete the online registration form. However, if School Volunteering was selected, the volunteer would choose a school and then the volunteer activity offered at the respective school or schools. Once all schools and activities are selected, the Apply button is clicked in order to proceed to the registration form. The Volunteer Dashboard is a very important and essential part of VMS. Here the volunteers are fully engaged in their volunteer experience. Once logged in, volunteers view notifications or messages from the admin personnel. In the center are incomplete and pending background clearance requirements, and to the right, is an overview of recent changes made to their volunteer activities. They can view their clearance requirements in more detail, get detailed instructions for completing each requirement as shown for fingerprinting. Links to forms that need to be downloaded are at the left, and to the right is the ability to upload documents. Also at the right, clicking Register for Training displays a list of training locations, dates, and times for signing up. Selecting My Activities on the left navigation bar lists each of the schools and activities for which the volunteer is engaged. Pressing the Transfer School button for Dijin Middle School allows the volunteer's activities, clearances, and related children to be transferred to another school. In this case, to Thornhill High School. Volunteers can record the time volunteering for each activity and any comments they wish to make. School district personnel and authorized school site staff have admin logins. Here, admin staff view all the activity created by volunteers at their respective dashboards. At this screen, admin staff check off clearance requirements completed by volunteers, send reference letters if required, make notes regarding the volunteer, and many other tasks for maintaining the volunteer profiles. Here, selected volunteers are displayed on one screen, showing the clearance status, any expirations, and clearance progress, 
At this screen, the data can be exported to Excel, and emails can be sent to selected volunteers. Certain requirements with expiration dates, such as fingerprinting, health checks, and driver's licenses, are monitored in the background. Reminder notices and cancellations are sent out. VMS can collect data and report student outcomes, as shown here for GPA, certain exams, absences, and disciplinary actions. The admin or school site coordinator can then view all the volunteer time reports, and clicking on the volunteers' names takes the coordinator to the specific comments made by the volunteers. VMS has a student processing module that allows searches to be made by student name, school, grade in school, and other factors. This display shows that 5th grade and 8th grade students are selected so that their related adult volunteers can be sent emails with instructions to log into their respective volunteer dashboards and transfer themselves and the students to new schools. 5th grade students will be moving to middle school and 8th grade students will be moving to high school. This presentation is meant as an overview. There are six other videos in this series. Each addresses a key function of VMS in considerable detail. Please view them at your pleasure. You are also welcome to contact us with the links on this page for more information. Thank you.